So NVIDIA finally announced their new line of GeForce RTX series of graphics cards. And we're going to take this video to spend some time talking specifically about the cooler and a bit about the PCB and power delivery. We're looking specifically at the RTX 2080 in this one, but the cooler portion design should carry across to all three cards. And don't worry, you won't have to look at my ugly mug for the entirety of this one. With the new Turing GPU based GeForce RTX 20 series lineup, Nvidia is going to offer two key things. First is a brand new dual axial fan based cooling solution and the other is a factory overclock out of the box. Yep. Nvidia is going to offer their reference cards with a factory overclock. Does that really make it a factory overclock though? Either way, that means that the Founders Editions are most likely shipping with bin dies that allow for the best clocks and overclocking potential. All Founders Edition cards come with a 90 MHz overclock out of the box, and this applies across all three GeForce RTX 20 series cards that were announced yesterday, including the RTX 2080 Ti, the RTX 2080, and the RTX 2070. All cards are tested by NVIDIA to ensure they run at the stated clock speeds and are backed by their three-year warranty. However, if you want more performance, then manual overclocking is also available, and there's much to be gained by tuning the card yourself. To deliver this level of performance, the factory overclock GeForce RTX 2080 uses 225 watts power out of the box and tops out around 280 watts for enthusiasts chasing ultimate overclocking performance, and maybe an overclocker's dream if you will. When it comes to the cooler design, Nvidia is taking a major departure from their blower style cooler from previous reference designs and going for the strong dual axial fan cooling system which is said to deliver better cooling performance. The cooler comprises of dual fans that push the air towards a large heatsink block that is made up of quite a few aluminum fins and interconnects via heat pipe technology. Nvidia is using a three-phase motor to limit vibration and noise from the fan offering quieter GPU operation, even under intense gaming loads, so they claim. The cooler has a high-performance vapor chamber underneath the hood, which uses a copper base to effectively dissipate heat from the GPU as well as its surroundings, such as the VRAM and NVIDIA is stating that the cooler performs roughly 10 degrees Celsius cooler than previous Founders Edition cards, while emitting one-fifth of the noise. NVIDIA also states that the GeForce RTX 2080 Founders Edition makes use of a 225 watt power out of the box, but up to 280 watts when pushed to maximum for overclocks. Furthermore, the entire power delivery system has been rebuilt for GeForce RTX Founders Edition graphics cards, stating that an all-new 13-phase iMon Dr. Moss power supply. Of particular note, there is a new ability to switch off phases for drastically reduced power consumption at lower workloads, which greatly increases power efficiency. All of this is packed beneath an elegant looking cooler which doesn't use the same pattern as the GeForce 10 series Founders Edition cards. Those went for more of a polygonal texture but this is more of a plain design featuring a die cast aluminum shroud with a matte black finish in the center. The RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti logo on the side has LEDs that glow when the color card is operational. The shroud engulfs the entire card leading from the top and even to the back, which acts as sort of a back plate. It looks pretty neat to boot. For one, I find it very interesting that Nvidia has done this here. Perhaps they've opened up the idea of the stock design card being able to be more than a blower design. I mean, Radeon did this something similar in their marketing material for the RX 580 with a very nice looking dual fan reference design. It never made it to market, but who knows what next gen may bring. At this point, we'd love to hear what you guys have to think about the new cooling solution. Good? Bad? Rather have an AIB? Either way, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one, and we'll catch you there.